Christmas month. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Sorry, just finishing up my Christmas reading for the year. I've been going through a lot of Christmas books and I'm finally finishing my last one. I'm also enjoying some delicious hot chocolate in my mug. Oh, almost out. Chris Christmas. Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, I love Christmas. There have been a lot of great Christmas movies and specials. So today, we're going to be talking about the best Christmas movies and specials of all time. Before we get started, just wanted to get an honorable mention out of the way. That being A Christmas Carol. I just couldn't find room to add it on this list, but the story of A Christmas Carol is a timeless tale about an old grumpy guy named Scroob who hates Christmas because his mom died or something. During A Christmas Carol, he's visited by ghosts from Christmas to tell him that he's bad and that he should give money to people or something. A Christmas Carol teaches us that we can all be rich and happy. Now that the honorable mention is out of the way, let's list the top 10 best Christmas specials of all time. Now keep in mind, this list is subjective, but if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. Number 10, Jingle All the Way. This is one of the greatest Christmas movies ever made. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a bad father who misses important family events, like his son breaking a board. I mean, I don't really blame him. Why are they all clapping when these kids break the wood planks? It's kind of stupid if you ask me. Anyway, his child tells him, Dad, why are you always miss my pod races? You never come through for me ever, Dad. And then Arnold asks his son, Hello, child, what would you like for Christmas? And his child says, I want the Turbo Man action figure with Titanic elbow thrust. So then on Christmas, Christmas Eve, he goes to the store, but they say, we don't have any of those left. So he goes to a different store and they tell him, here's a bouncy ball. But then in the end, it turns out that Arnold Schwarzenegger was Turbo Man all along. Didn't see that twist coming. The worst part of the movie was when Annie got the toy he wanted, but then he gave it to Sinbad. That was stupid. Number nine, how the Grunch steal Christmas. Grunch is an angry green Muppet that lives on the mountain and boy oh boy does he hate Christmas. All the Who people in Who land love Christmas a lot, but the Grunch, he did not, he did not. So he stole Christmas, but then he decided to give Christmas back and eat the roast beef from Arby's. They have the meats. My favorite part is when he stole Christmas. Pretty great Christmas film. Number eight. The Christmas Card. The Christmas Card is a great American classic Christmas film beloved by all generations. Cody Whiteman is a soldier in the army, but then he goes to a town because he got a Christmas card. That's the name of the movie! He meets Faith White Woman and saves her dad, Ed Asner. Hi, I'm Ed Asner from getting hit by a car. So they decide to adopt him as their new son-in-law. But then we meet Faith's boyfriend, the nice and funny Paul White guy. Wow, you guys are doing good work here. Even though he's very nice, for some reason, everyone acts like he's a bad guy, but he's just awkward and funny. Anyways, Cody Whiteman makes a bench for Ed Asner and Ed Asner's wife, so Faith White Woman falls madly in love with him and they kiss the end. This is pretty much the definitive Christmas film. Number seven, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Number seven, Home Alone is a very funny Christmas movie featuring characters that get into all kinds of wacky hijinks. The best part of each Home Alone movie is the part where the bad guys get beaten up by all the traps that the child in the movie sets up for them. It's always very funny. Home Alone 3 is the best one. Number six, Beauty and the Beast Christmas. It's Christmas time again in Stockholm Syndrome Castle and Belle is trying to teach Beast that Christmas is epic. Unfortunately, the evil piano tries to trick the Beast into hating Christmas. I think. I don't actually remember anything about this one. I had it on VHS tape when I was a kid. I'm an old man now. Number five, the Santa Claus E3, the escape clause starring Tim Allen from Toy Story, he played Buzz Lightyear. The Santa Claus E films are renowned for their wonderful portrayal of the character of Santa Claus. So Tim Allen from Toy Story, he played Buzz Lightyear, becomes Santa Claus in the first one, then in the second one he gets married, then in the third one Jack Frost becomes Santa. This is the best film trilogy ever made. Number four, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Charlie Brown's admission of his seasonal affective disorder, followed by Linus's harsh rebuttal, isn't how you would expect one of the most beloved Christmas television traditions of all time to open. It's amazing how melancholy and introspective a Charlie Brown Christmas is. There are a few references to presents, Santa is hardly mentioned, and there's a fairly solemn and thoughtful reading from the Gospel of Luke right in the middle of it. For a special that was originally sponsored by Coca-Cola, a Charlie Brown Christmas is decidedly non-commercial. Charles M. Schultz's immortal Peanuts characters appear here in what was their first television appearance. 
with all of the humanity that made them so famous on the printed page. If you ask most people what sticks with them about a Charlie Brown Christmas, you'll probably hear one answer more than others. The tree, that scrawny, sickly, pathetic Christmas tree that the gang fixes up, has come to symbolize the entire Charlie Brown Christmas experience. For a piece of television that's now over 50 years old, a Charlie Brown Christmas still feels remarkably timely. However, I can't help but wonder what I loved about it when I was a kid. It's more introspective and poignant than it is funny or surreal. Nobody gets any toys, Snoopy's screen time is minimal, and the spirit of Christmas it finds is more philosophical than celebratory. But for those of us who have a little trouble getting into the swing of things during the holidays, Charlie Brown is always there to remind us that we're not alone. Number three, all I want for Christmas is you. Young Mariah Carey just wants a puppy doggy for Christmas and she gets one. This is one of the greats. Number two, It's a Wonderful Life. What can I say about It's a Wonderful Life that hasn't already been said? It's one of the greatest movies ever made and certainly the best Christmas movie of all time. The story of George Bailey, a good guy who just wants to help people at the expense of what's best for him. We watch his journey through life, from his childhood to missing out on college to take over his father's business to his wedding to becoming a father. We're rooting for this guy. And it's heartbreaking when his uncle loses a large portion of their building and loans money, which sends George into a manic and desperate state. In his desperation, he goes to Mr. Potter, the town's evil rich guy, to beg for money, where he's told the most horrible thing. You're worth more dead than alive. He internalizes this statement and wanders to a bridge. As he wrestles with jumping into the icy river below, someone else falls in and he being the selfless and kind individual he is, jumps in to save the man. The man tells George that he's an angel named Clarence who came to show George what the world would be like if he'd never been born. And it's a horrifying sight. The story is spectacularly executed, and if you haven't seen this film, please do yourself a favor and watch it. It's truly an emotional journey and the best Christmas movie ever made. Just kidding! Here's the best Christmas movie ever made. Number one. Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Santa is stuck in Florida, oh no! Only the Ice Cream Bunny can help Santa Claus. Thumbelina. The Ice Cream Bunny will reign supreme. Hail the Ice Cream Bunny. And those were the greatest Christmas specials ever made. Just remember, if you disagree with my opinion, the ice cream bunny will come for you. Happy Hanukkah!